So guys, I'm just, you know, logging now, going to watch, you know, Canon virtual conference. I'm so excited. I'm cut. How much I'm excited, I cannot even, even, even put it in word. Excited. So now we are talking about the, you know, Canon R5. Basically, Canon is killing it. I'm telling you, Canon is killing it. In, oh my God, I'm gonna switch. But it depends how much, how much does, you know, R5, Canon R5 gonna cost. But the fact that you shoot 8K, 422 bit, I'm 10 bit internally. And also you can shoot raw 8K, 422 bit internally. That, oh my God. And then, you know, and if you don't want to shoot, you know, 8K, that's fine. But you should, you know, 4K. And 4K, let me, let me rewind a bit back. You know, the 4K, you, where is it? It's coming here, here, that's okay. Yeah, for the 4K, you, you should up to 120 frames per second. The, and 4 to 2, 10 bit Canon log. And then also 4 to 2, 10 bit HDR. And no crop at all. But I guess, you know, for the 8, uh, for the 8K, I think there will be crop in there. Let, let me just, let me just go on a bit back and then we can see. Yeah, because if they say, yeah, but you, wow, you know, the 8K raw up to 20, up to 30 frames per second, internal recording, no crop, dual pixel CMOS, Oh my God, five axis EBS. Let, 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 let me just kind of summarize a little, little bit here. You know what Canon just announced? You know, the R5, 8K up to 20, up to 30, you know, frame per second. Wait, eh? four to two, 10 bit. Right, Canon log and 422 10 bit HDR if you want to record 8K. And on top of that, raw video, 8K raw video up to 30 frames per second. In, in, just wait a minute. Internal recording and no crop. You can use the dual pixel. It's also available on autofocus is available on that. And you know, if you feel that you know, like you know, shooting 8K is gonna be big and all those kind of things, you you can still shoot 4K up to 120 frames per second. Right? No crop and 4 to 2 10 bit canon log. And I'm not, I'm gonna get that, you know, R5. I'm, but it depends how much it costs, you know. But the, the way that it is now, I guess it's gonna cost a little bit expensive. I mean, you know the IBIS here. Yeah? You know you f you got five axis IBIS. Canon just gonna kill it. Canon gonna kill it. Canon gonna kill it. I I you know I am a. I'm a Panasonic guy, yeah. I've been using Panasonic for how many years now? Um, since 2013 or something like that. I started with the with uh, 4G. I mean, not 4G. GS, GS5, GS4. Yeah, I started with GS4 and then moved to you know GS5 and then moved to S. But the thing that really hurt me a lot was the with the Panasonic in line one is the focus. I mean the autofocus suck. 
and because I'm um, <clears throat> and I'm I'm a one person crew, so when I'm filming, I have to do everything, you know. And then if if the, the autofocus autofocus no right, you know, all your footage is just done, you know. You walk hard, you feel, you film, and then you come home, you put it on on your computer to edit it, and you find that that you know it's not on on focus. Um, it's really frustrating. So, I mean, you know, that's what it is. And that's what, you know, Canon is bringing up. Yeah, come on, bring it up, man. Absolutely, bring it up. I'm really pumped. I'm really pumped. Yeah, bring it up, Canon. Bring it up. What do you think, you know, Canon, Canon doing now with, the, with that R5, with the DSLR? I'm just speechless. Thank you. Please like this. Um, video and you know and subscribe to my channel so you're gonna get a, quite a lot of um you know like canon no no canon but i mean you know camera stuff and all those kind of things so yeah